All right, guys, it's Wednesday morning. The dogs are excited. They've just arrived. We're standing inside the paddock, only about 30 metres or so, but we've got the radar gun, and we're going to see how quickly the dogs run out of the bus. So as they're running out, Adam's going to be reading out the numbers, so it's in kilometres an hour, and uh, we'll see how they go. I'm, ex I'm expecting a couple of dogs to be pretty quick, and then when we go for the motorbike ride, Adam will sit here and um, get a few speeds as they're coming through. Well, yeah, Jace, good to go, mate. Two. Hi, Mally. Hi, Dad. Buddy. Hi, Spuddy. Oh, 42. 42, Ralphie boy. Quickest so far. 44. 44. 38. 38, oh, well done. Hi, Taz. 33, 30. Hi, Taz. How are you doing? Go, Lily. 36. Alan. Hi. Hi, hello, hello, Mini, hello, Mini, hi, 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 Annabelle, hello, hello, darling, hi, 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 Mini, hi, Mini, hi, Mini, hi, Mini, oh, oh, Mini, hi, darling, hi. Hi. Hello, buddy. Welcome back, buddy. Hi, Minnie. Hi, Minnie. Oh, yeah. Hello. Hello. Hi, yes. Oh, yeah. You want to go for a run? You want to go for a run? Okay, let's go. Let's go, John. Let's go, John. just to avoid that overexcitement. He's getting old now. He still likes to run around a bit too much at this point. So just giving him a little bit of a rest, getting him used to the, the old man routine and uh, just trying to maintain some of his joint health. But uh, as you can see, he's very excited and now he's running with the pack. Good boy, mate. Look at him rolling around in the grass, I bet you. Hello, buddy. <laughs> Rightio, it's day two of hide and go seek. Bandits here still, so I'm gonna find a different tree because otherwise we'll just go straight to the same tree. Rightio, let's see. 
<laughs> these trees are all so tall. Um, on something that I can still see them run through. <laughs> something that I'm not going to die trying to climb. <laughs> Still a bit difficult. Time to get up. <laughs> They're all just so big. <laughs> oh yeah. So you're gonna signal Jason, yeah, I'm and then I'm now. gonna probably run. Why don't Why don't you go up the top or something? Yeah. Or? Yeah, righto. Okay. Righto, guys. I'm in position. Let him go. You can hear them coming up the hill. I've gone a little bit further this time because there weren't too many trees on offer. But I'm just above the track. There's only Sam on the camera today. using all these sensors. Oh, he went straight past him. Oh, no. Nope. Comes here. Oh, this might be a good spot to stretch the legs. Who's he, guys? Come on, Zach. Who's he, mate?
anjing. Good job, Lily. Hello, Whatever, guys. What happened? You just kept running past. Hey, Bitter boy. Up to the right, buddy. Hello. Hello, guys. So everyone ran past. I had my had my money on either Sparty or Ernie, but they were too excited. They just kept running. But uh, halfway through, I looked up and saw Kirtley just staring straight into my eyes. <laughs> and he just going, "Yeah, what are you guys on about? He's right there." <laughs> well, I didn't want to say anything because the rest of them are still baffled. But I was good. Tell you what, I need a ladder up here. These trees are getting harder. <laughs> I'm stuck to whatever I can reach. I keep looking over the hill and going, oh, that one's a good one, we'll go over there. And when I get there, it's like way up here. <laughs> Like this is that bucket that hides the lure. I'm gonna destroy it while I have the chance. Darling, hello, darling. Oof, look at these little guys. Look at them. Hey? Look at them. Hello. 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 Hey. <laughs> hello, little darling. Hi. Hi. Oh, hi, hi, hi. Yeah, hello. <laughs> hello, darling. Hello. Hi. Good work, Mum. Hey? Good work. Hi. Yeah, hello. Hi. Hello, big boy. Look at you. Hi, mate. Hi. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Hello, 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 hello. That little curled lip you're giving me there, mate. <laughs> hey, that little curled lip you're giving me. Hi, oh, thank you. Thanks for the licks. Thank you. 
Hello, mate. Hi.
Come on, surprise, mate. <laughs> oh, yeah! G'day guys, so we were talking about it yesterday with Yo-Yo being introduced to the pack for the first time and just sort of working out how many hours uh, he'd had with you know a qualified trainer working him up to that point and what are the guesses, what do you think that uh, the amount of time has gone into him? Give you three seconds, make your own mind up. The answer is just over 220 hours of uh, training with qualified trainers that he's had here since he's been here in uh, that short time. And although when you think about that as if you spend one hour a day with your dog on a walk and that's when you do your training, that's uh, three quarters of the year um, before you get to that sort of time frame. So to, to put it in perspective, it's such a, a, a really strong transformation that he's gone through and, and he's had to want to make the change as well. Um, you know, from going from a rescue dog that was fearful and nervous and anxious and aggressive and dominant, you know, only a month ago to gone through such a transformation is really commendable. He's, you know... It's really something that I'm quite proud of that he's he's come this far, but it was very interesting to put into perspective just how many hours have gone into helping him through that. Most dogs, you know, you, you, you do, that time does add up. When you get them from a puppy and you go to the park every day, you take them out twice a day, um, you know, six to eight months later, you've reached that time and you've started to to reach some milestones where your dog is very responsive. Your dog is uh, able to be go off lead to the dog parks and socialize well. Um, whereas these guys have never had that. They've never had someone give them that opportunity or that time or energy or effort or uh, you know teach them the right way. So it's a late start in life, but you know it's it's what they need now. And I'm very proud of how far they've come. But it was just very interesting to, to you know, work out exactly how much time he's had to to get that transformation, um, you know. And and it was only lucky that we we're in lockdown that we were able to give him that full time boot camp style training to to bring them along to that point. So, you know, most of these guys here that are at daycare. They've had hundreds of hours of training with their owners and, you know, working on their own uh, behaviours and their own training and, and their own relationships. Uh, and that happens naturally over the course of owning a dog, uh, watching it grow up, spending that time with them through through the early months and, you know, toilet training and um, all the basic stuff when, when getting a puppy. Uh, but remembering that this is a rescue dog. This is a dog that has been rescued from a kill list in another pound somewhere and has been rescued to, uh, by Central Coast Animal Care Facility uh, where they've you know, been given that opportunity to be rehomed, given that extra chance and you know, now they're here getting the training to help bridge the gap so they do have a really good chance of, of adapting and blending into a household environment. Um, Yo-Yo, obviously, he's been, um, he's been adopted already by um, Nike's family. And so he's on a training course to get him daycare ready. So that 220 hours is only to a point where he can come in on lead at the end of the day when all the other dogs' uh, energy levels are quite low. And it was, it was a successful introduction into that. For him to start the day fresh 
early in the day when the energy level and you know the excitement is so high he's still got many many hours to go before he's ready for that so thought it was a fun fact uh, that we worked that out but it's looking like you know yo yo we're really proud of him he's he's coming a long way he's definitely on track to be daycare ready in about a month's time so we'll continue doing these interaction introductions with him and then each time it'll get earlier and earlier in the day and we might start bringing him out to observe some of the crazy activities like the swiss ball or the motorbike run or whatever it is but and in a controlled environment um but just thought it was a uh interesting to put that in perspective of how far they've come and it's a really such a good transformation you know there's there's not many um people out there that could go through a transformation like that in such a short time so you really got to take your head off to yo-yo Where's your sister? Where's your sister? Hey? Eh? Right there. Hello guys. Hello guys. There she is. Good girl, Nike. Good girl. Good boy, mate. Good boy. Hello, Minnie. Where you were. Oh, Goldie love. Goldie love. <laughs> it's everywhere. Wet Goldie love. Good boy. Good boy, yeah, yeah. Good boy. So that looks good. Yeah. There Good boy, mate. Good boy. Well done. Well done, buddy. Yeah, good job. Good job. Oh, hi, Zach. Hi, Zach. Oh, yeah. Hi, mate. Yeah. Hi, buddy. Yeah. Hi, buddy. Good boy. Good boy. Hello, mate. Oh, yeah. Hello, mate. Good boy. Hello, Pablo. Trying to get in there. Oh, Mr. Pablo. Oh, Mr. Pablo. Hello. 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 Hello, mate. Hello, mate. Hello, mate. Hello. Good boy. Mm-hmm. 
Good job, man. Good boy, yeah, yeah. Good boy. Good boy, yeah, yeah.